baby girl. We just wanted to put some things together to let you know that we love you, to let you know that you are always on our mind, to let you know that you are always in our prayers. And so just a few of your friends and family, we recorded some videos, hopefully to make you laugh, hopefully to make you smile, hopefully to make you think, just to let you know that that uh, since July, you have been our focus. Uh, we are all Chandrea Strong. And uh, to let you know that that um, not only are we praying for you, uh, but we're praying for Todd and we're praying for Ian. And we trust God. We trust that that we're coming through on the other side of this stronger, richer, wiser, deeper, and better. Uh, and so enjoy it. Um, none of these were meant to upset you. We just want to, to let you know how much we really do love you. So uh, enjoy uh, the these uh, videos and these expressions that we are passing on to you uh, to let you know how much you mean to us. Rocky wanted to do a video. Um, he told me to pass on ruff, 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 ruff. Uh, whatever that means. He told me that you would understand. Love you, baby. Hey, Sterling sister and friend of mine. I hope that everything is going well with you. I just want you to know, don't look at me because I do look rough right now. Be encouraged. Um, so much has happened in all of our lives that um, sometimes we just don't think it's worth it, but it is. And just know that God's got you. Um, we just spent a year struggling with my brother, who we nearly lost, and I love him so much. And um, it's just, it's been a moment by moment, day by day, just that kind of thing. Just know, be encouraged. We love you. It's all good. God's got your back, and you're in our prayers. Take it easy. Hey, baby, I just wanted to come and encourage you and let you know that I love you and I'm praying for you and I just heard about what's going on and I'm going to aggravate your brother. Yes. And you've been such a blessing to me in life, honey, in life. And I just want to just, I wish I could hug you just to let you know everything's going to be okay and I'm not going to cry. And I just want you to know that God is in control and you're a good person and only good things can happen to you. It's just a test. That's all. Just when I went through my test and you was there for me and you gave me those encouraging words, I'm telling you, it's a test. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you to life. And girl, you're not about to make me cry and look ugly because you know I'm a cry baby. I love you, baby. I love you. Hugs and kisses. Hey, Ms. Dolly Hughes. This is, your, this is your student, Jordan Williams, one of your favorite students. I want you to hurry up and get better. Take care. I love you. Hi, Sister in Christ. Um, Sister Diamonds, I want to send you this video all the way from Las Vegas. And look at that. I want you to look at that pretty view. So you have to hurry up and get well so you can get back to traveling and doing the things that you love. You are surrounded by family and friends. <clears throat> 
just because you have been so sweet and stood in the gap for others god have people all around the globe praying for you my name is angie i was under the leadership of your smart talented comedian brother pastor dowens and i love him to life him and his wife my first lady so i'm sending you greetings all the way from las vegas currently um and i'm originally from Avonville, south carolina so hey get speedy recovery to you sis um and get back out here and doing the things that you love hey this is only a small little smidget but we need you to get rested and we need you to get well in order to get rested <clears throat> in order to get well sorry from a nursing standpoint you have to get well all right bye all things are possible if you only believe sandria you are a great and wonderful sister um, that is magnificent in the educational field. I remember your imprint and your um, mark that you left on the schools in Allendale when I was there. You were a wonderful church sister. Um, and I say were because I'm not at Way of Chapel anymore, but um, Sandria, you are enough all by yourself, babe. And you have a wonderful, wonderful family and praying family. Um, I thank God for your family and I thank God for you. You got this. My prayers are with you. You got this, Andrea. Love you and looking forward to seeing you come through this. God bless you. Hi, Shandrea. This is Lawson, Yawana. Just wanted to send you um, a hello, let you know I miss you so much. Glad you are improving. Continue to improving because remember, we have a date. Love you. Hello, sis. I was sitting here walking around the track and took a break because my back was hurting and I saw your brother post and... I said, you know what, I was meditating too, and I was thinking about you and Todd and Ian, and then I saw it, so you know that's confirmation, but I know you're going to um, get well. Remember what I told you, no matter how hard it gets, I need you to go in that inner, and I need you to continue to fight, keep pushing in, in therapy, like I told you, it's not going to be easy, but I need you to continue to fight. And I know I now I have to come to Atlanta to massage those feet, feet, not feet, but I'm, um, I'm coming, but know that, you know, I love you. You know, I love you. And that was the last song that we played before we left, the Ian Wanting to Hear by C.C. Wine. Um, I can't think of it, but just know that through God, he said, by his stripes, you are healed. And I need you to continue that faith because you have to believe as well. And you know who God is. He done showed up and showed out so many times. So you know who he is and you know what he can do. But you got to continue to have that faith. To know that you know the God that can do all things but fail. So please continue to trust in God. And keep fighting. And I know it's going to be days you get depressed because I just had a knee replacement and I was depressed plenty of days. But I need you to fight through that. That's what Satan wants to happen, wants you to get down and out and then don't want you to push. But I need you to continue to push, continue to push, continue to push, no matter how hard it is. You can cry. It's okay to cry. But through them cries, you need to keep the fighting spirit. The things say one man and hear him two minutes. I love you. Love you. Hey cousin, it's me. Just wanted to uplift you, pray for you, know that I'm thinking of you. I love you. I remember the first time we met officially. We were laughing at the family cookout about the people with the dirty feet, but it's always been a vibe with you. We've always had love for each other. I'm praying that God blesses you. He provides a healthy, happier life for you. I pray that when you come out the hospital, you'll be brand new. I believe that by his stripes you're already healed. So I love you. Get better. As soon as you get out the hospital, we rocking out, baby. Love you.
Hi, Shangera. This is Sister Patty. Of course, you know who I am. Well, I was just sending this video because I'm thinking about you and I know you're going to be healed in the name of Jesus. That's what I'm praying for for you. And of course, you see, I'm, I'm in my truck. Uh, you know I drive trucks, Andrea. I'm in my, I'm in my truck. This is not my truck, but you know my trainer truck. So I'm in here trying to get my education with this truck driving thing. But anyway, you get well soon. I love you, and everything's gonna be okay. Blessings. Hi, Shandrea. This is Frederick Wilson. I decree and declare healing, prosperity, deliverance wholeness and recovery over your life in the name of Jesus. You are a winner. You are an overcomer. You are redeemed by the blood of the lamb and you've got a testimony. Yes, God is going to bless and heal you. We decree and declare it in the name of Jesus. We pray God's blessings upon you. Be encouraged and we love you and continue to hold on to God's unchanging hands. Remember God's word says, I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and to not harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. God bless you, we love you. Hey baby girl, just want you to know our prayers are up for you. Wishing you a successful recovery. Can't wait to see that smile again. We're praying, praying, praying. Love you, sis. Good evening, Shandria. This is Sherelle. I just want you to know that I love you. I'm praying for you. And I pray you have a great therapy session while you are in Atlanta. You have to get well and get back to this wonderful family of yours. Your beautiful mother, father, brothers son and husband and everybody else that loves you as well. I pray that God continue to heal your body. I pray that you can stand up in church and let the world know what kind of miracle God works in your life. We are claiming the victory. The victory is on its way and we know that God is in the blessing business and we know that he creates miracles done it once and he'll do it again and I know that you are in great hands. You have a wonderful family that's standing behind you and you have some prayer warriors that's on your side. Get well soon because we have to make another Disney World trip. I love you. Hey Shandria. Hi Shandria. This is Moses and Mary Carter. We just call it to give you a few encouraging words. Be strong. Be persistent and consistent. And keep your smiling face. Hopefully we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Hi, Sandra. So good to hear that you are doing much better. I miss you, beautiful. I love you. And may God continue to bless you with a speedy recovery. I can't wait to see you. I can't wait till we travel again together. Can't wait to hear your voice. My beautiful sister, you got this. God is with you every step of the way. And I know that everything is going to be all right. I love you, beautiful. Until I talk to you again, continue to fight. Miss you. Good morning, Chandra. This is Thomasina Adams from Williams Chapel. Just want to leave a few words of encouragement with you to let you know that we're constantly praying for you, that we love you, and we're just waiting for the manifestation of your healing because we know that God's going to visit you and he is going to perfect your healing. Shandria, I'd like to leave this scripture with you this morning, Jeremiah 29 and 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. That is one of my favorite scriptures, and I think upon that often. And even as I pray for you on this morning, I thought about that scripture because God has plans for you and his work for you is not yet done. God bless you. We love you. We love you. We love you, Shandrea. Shandrea, 
Shayla here, wishing you a speedy recovery and praying every day you continue to get stronger. Love you, girl. Mwah. Hello, Shandrea. It's your cousin, Donna. I just want you to know that I love you and I'm praying for you and I can't wait for you to come over to my new house and us sit and chat and talk about the ancestors, which is what we all love to do. So continue to do better with your therapy and I, I can't wait to see you and to talk to you. I love you, bye. Hey cousin, it's Erica wishing you a speedy recovery. You are one of the strongest people that I know, so I know that you got this. Stay strong, keep fighting, and we all are here waiting for you to get better so we can turn up. Me, Dylan, and your Delroy Thompson, we all love you here. We're thinking about you, praying for you, and we hope to see you soon to come down and spend time with the family. So just get better soon. We love you. Hi, Shandrea. I just wanted to send you all my love and just continue to make the great progress you're doing. You're in my prayers just for a full and speedy recovery. Can't wait to see you again because we have a photo shoot we need to redo. I'm checking Sheehan for some updated outfits. Love you, girl. Hey, Shandrea. It's your cousin, Chris. I wanted to wish you boundless strength and positivity on your journey to getting well. Stay positive, stay strong, and stay encouraged. I love you and get well soon. Hey, bumpkin. Girl, you have got to hurry up and get through this rehab because I need you. I was just sitting there thinking the other day, I need you to, to help me pick out my, my um, all those things. My... I need you to help me pick up my winter wardrobe. I need you to help me chit chat about the latest things that are going on, the latest happenings. Um, I need you to help me check out my consumer cellular because girl, they calling me all the time, and you know I don't know what to say because you did everything. I need you to listen to my new play that's in the making. I'm still working on that Angels in the Outfield. You know, I told you about that. So I also need you to help me put together my hat and my suit for church on Sunday. I've been going to mix match every Sunday. I need you to remember all those things that I forget. And I need you to be here to read me Little Women. You remember that story. And I need you to help me write thank you notes for all those people who are thinking about you. I just need you to, to do what you do and hurry up and get back to me so you can be who you be. Love you. Chandra, is this live? Is this live? It looks like TV to me. I don't know. But don't know. um, let me tell you one thing. You better get well. Because you know you cheated all them games we played when you was a kid. I was watching you. <laughs> okay? Now, on a serious note, really get well. Because you scare me. You scare me so much my head will turn gray. <laughs> Shandrea, we're going to play for you. Facts. You're going to you gonna be right there once again. We're going to have a spades game. I don't yeah. know who your partner going to be, but... Not me, because you cheat. <laughs> but I just want to know, let you know that we love you. Correct. Okay, and we're going to continue to pray for your for God to give you the strength. And the grace. And the grace for us to still be together. We gonna, exactly. And once you get out, we're going to we'll party and celebrate. celebrate. Facts. Facts. Love N you. NYC. Love ya. Bye. Love you. Your mother's dearest friend, really, your mother's and father's, they've been a great support to me, and I am praying daily for your recovery, hopefully a speedy recovery, but I know it's a long road ahead. We love you. We miss hearing your voice and seeing you from time to time. We know that God is who he said he is and will do what he said he would do. So we are definitely going to keep you in our prayers and we will continue to support your family, especially your mother and your father as part of William Chapel AME Church. And your mother will attest to the fact that 
we have a special connection because of a long time acquaintance and support for each other through the years. And you do remember me and my late daughter Jacqueline from Williams Chapel. We miss you. We miss seeing you. We hope that all goes well with your recovery. God bless and continue to keep the faith. Bye bye. Hey, Chandria. Just sending you encouragement, prayers. My prayers are often with you, always with you. Miss you, miss you talking trash. Praying you have a successful recovery. Wishing you the best. Love you. Hey, Sandra, it's your baby cousin Lauren. Just coming here to remind you to stay focused. Stay focused on your progress. Focus on your strength. And when you are back 100%, you know it is about to be a party. We love you. We're praying for you. And I'll see you soon. Mwah. Hey, Shandrea, it's Brianna, your shit cousin. I just wanted to let you know that I'm thinking of you every day. Um, I really do hope that you get better soon, and I really hope that I can get to see you soon. Um, I love you so much. I miss you every day, and I'm thinking of you always. I love you. Hey, girl. I speak to your brother, Steve, all the time, um, asking how you're doing, asking how your mom and dad are doing, and everybody else. So I saw that Sterling just posted the, this video. I um, wanted to send you some hail and juju. Hope you're doing okay. Um, we're thinking of you here in New York. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hey girl, hey. Hey friend. I know it's been a long time since we've seen each other. Last time this thing actually had some skin and some hair. But anyway, I hope you're doing well. I know you've had some health challenges, but you're a strong one. I've known you for a long time and known that every single time that the enemy thinks it has you down, you get back up fighting. So keep fighting, my friend. Keep striving, my friend. Keep being everything that you are because I know that God has his hand on you. So hopefully we can see each other soon. Kiss Ian for me. I know he's getting bigger and we'll talk again. Bye, girl. Bye. Hey, Chandria. I'm not even going to tell you how many times I have recorded this message. I just want to say that I love you and that I'm praying for your speedy recovery. I'm looking forward to when we can all get together and celebrate your homecoming. So I just want to encourage you to keep doing what you're doing because I'm getting some good reports. And I know that God is good. And I know that you are his child. And I know that he loves you. And I know that he is going to continue to use you to be a blessing to others. So stay encouraged, keep fighting, and come home quickly. I love you. Bye-bye. Hi, Shandrea. Wishing you a speedy recovery. Know that we love you. Know that we are praying for you. Um, Cam and Kay miss you and can't wait to see you. And especially your super fabulous fur nephew, Rocky. Love you. Hello, Shandrea. This is Lawson. I'm sending you this video to let you know that I'm so glad to hear of your progress. So continue to get stronger and know that I'm praying for you daily. I love you and I miss you so much. I can't wait to see you. Love you. In his time, in his time, God makes all things beautiful in his time. In his time, in his time, God makes all things beautiful in his time. Hey, I'm sending this video by myself because me, mama, and the twins can never get on the same schedule. But we love and miss you, your Baptist family. Um, continue to fight to get better, and we're still praying for you. Love you. Hi, Chandrea. Hi, my Charlotte. I hope you see this and know that I am thinking about you always. See this one. See me? Hey. 
I love you, my girl. Please get better. Hey, love. This is Brandy, your sister in Christ, your YPD sister. And of course, I'm going to say YPD because that's where our journey began. I want to take this time out to let you know whatever you're going through, God is able. He will see you through and he definitely has his hands on you. And I know that because he has always had his hands on you to be that nurturer, to be that protector, to be that person of guidance, to be that person who helped the next through. I remember my freshman year at South Carolina State University when the road got rough for me and I wanted to give up. I said I was tired. I didn't want to do school anymore or any of that. Things were getting so hard for me. And you were always there giving me that encouraging word to see me. No, you're not giving up. You're not quitting. And guess what? I did not quit and I did not give up. And it's because of you and your leadership and your guidance and your sisterhood. Everything that you gave to me made me the person that I am today. And I am forever grateful for that. Another thing. Remember when we were YBD years and we used to be in these long meetings and we say we're not doing WMS. Girl, I'm a WMS man. That is a crazy one right there. But sis, I want you to know that I love you. I appreciate you. And I know that God is going to continue to bless you. Hey, Shandrea, this is Rory. Just checking in on you. I hope you're doing well. Hope you're getting better. Uh, when I heard the news that you had an incident, I was uh, a little shocked and hurt. I know we don't see you guys that often. And we haven't seen you in a long time, but you're still considered family to us here at Fairview. And on behalf of the Lindsay family, and I think I can speak for the Fairview family, we wish you a speedy recovery and the love that we are want to send to you is very strong. So just focus on getting better and God bless you and Reverend Dowling and your whole family. And we love you guys. So just continue to get better, please. All right, love you. Good morning, Chandrea. I hope that this finds you well. And on the men, as 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 you, we know that you are. We know that God is with you. Uh, he's pro he promised never to leave you, so He's right there with you, working it out for you. The word for today is restoration. Often people will have a new bounce in their step after asking God to take over their lives. They stand up taller and walk with much more confidence. Even a person's facial expressions look younger. Things are new. Life has been restored. This is because God is in the business of restoration. God specializes in taking our broken lives, our broken hopes and dreams, and even our broken bodies and bringing restoration to them, breathing new life and hope into them. If you have given up on a promise from God, he can restore your faith and breathe hope into your heart. Maybe you have given up on God's healing power in your physical body. God can restore your body and bring healing to your soul. He can turn your mourning into dancing, take away your sadness, clothe you with joy. God wants to restore things in your life that have been lost or stolen. Trust him today. Trust him, Chandrea. Trust him today for the restoration he longs to bring you. And he will because he said it and his word is true. Believe and receive promises. This promise comes from Psalm 13 verses 3 and 5. Turn and answer me, O Lord my God. Restore the sparkle to my eyes or I will die. But I trust in your unfailing love. I will rejoice because you have rescued me. So rejoice today, Chandria. The Lord is rescuing you right now as you can see and as you know. Again, I say, believe and receive. Bye. Have a good day. Good morning, Chandrea. 
it's a beautiful day outside. And guess what? You're going to be able to go outside very soon to see all the beauty of God. I'm going to give you some information today on faith. Not that you need it, just to reinforce the faith that you already have. Faith is the victory that we have in Christ. It is the living substance that God uses to build our lives, both in this world and in the age to come. Faith is the vehicle to fulfill all our hopes and all his promises. It empowers love, renews hope, banishes despair, protects the weak, and instructs the minds, defending it from vain imaginations as well as shielding the hurt from fatal attractions. Faith finds a way where there is no way igniting courage, and sustaining long-term commitments. The Bible says that without faith, it is impossible to please God. This doesn't mean that we can never have doubts or that we'll never experience fears or hopes unfulfilled. But it does mean that we are to draw close to the Lord in the time of our weaknesses. We are to ask God to give us faith and we are to ask him to strengthen the measure of faith he has already given to us. And we are to do everything in our power to feed what he has placed in our heart. As you seek God and meditate on his word, he will sustain you with the needed faith to do his will and to experience breakthrough in your life. Keep the faith, Chandria. The promises. Hebrew 11, 1 says, now faith is confidence that what we hope for. Hey, babe, it's Steve, one of the most handsomest brothers you'll ever meet. Luckily, you know, God blessed you with a lot. And uh, one of those things was me. Amen. 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 Uh, first, I'd like to thank God uh, for being who he is in my life. Um, next. I, I, I like to solicit your prayers for um, Yolanda and and just realize that prayer still works. Amen. Amen. Pray now. Um, and then I just want to let you know, it, everybody's doing cool. We, we're all pulling for you to uh, to come here and, and help us with some stuff. You know, I know that you got a pretty cool potato salad recipe. And, and I know that you had some other recipes that you only shared with Todd. But um, when you get over here, please, please share some more recipes. I uh, want you to get better. You know, I, I saw progress. I wish I was down there in Atlanta right now to be with you. Uh, I'm going to try to get down there as soon as I can. You know that. But keep getting stronger. Keep building your endurance, uh, you know. You know, you don't have to eat everything they, they put on that plate for you. So if you need me to kind of door dash some stuff in, just text me and uh, I'll make it happen. I met some cool people when I was down there. Uh, so I, I can just reach out to them and they'll they'll sneak the food into your room uh, from fried chicken to shrimp to whatever you need. Even if we have to have some crabs running around in there, we'll do that. But um Looking forward to getting to that NFL draft pretty soon here in a few months. But, you know, I love you. Uh, stay strong. You know, stay resilient. And I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.